driving an American muscle car, like a Mustang or Corvette, with stripes on it. Well today, I've got the stripes, and that's about it. So I'm driving Proton Satria Neo Sport, which is a 1.6 litre petrol engine. Now, I've had rather a mixed reaction to this car. My 14-year-old son saw it and went, wow, that's wicked, I want one. And then the two men of Women in Wheels, while they sort of not gone wow, they both want to drive it and both took it out for a day. So I think this car does appeal to the boy inside. Not inside me, mind you. But it still quite appeals to me. It appeals to me because it fits me. Now that might sound odd, but I can get so comfortable in this driving position, whereas the, the bigger chaps couldn't at all. The seat didn't seem to go far enough down for them. Actually, my husband felt quite squashed and came out with an amazing hairstyle afterwards because his head was completely pressed against the ceiling. And mind you, he's quite tall, well, well over six foot. But even Paul, who's 5'10", found a bit of a struggle. But they still drove it. So I've already mentioned about the stripes, and that's what strikes you, first of all, those stripes. But it is quite an attractive car. It's quite stylish. Head on, it's a very good looking car. And actually, I quite like it all over. It's got great lights, and it's small and neat and quite stylish. Now, stepping inside it, I quite like the simplicity of this car. Very, very simple dash. Okay, the materials aren't the best out there, but the dials are illuminated with a lovely blue, which is, is very stylish. Now, because we've got the Sport trim here, or the Sport model, it's got leather in quite a few places. I love the steering wheel, it's black and red, which maybe really is for young lads, but I think it's lovely, it feels nice as well. Seats are leather, and the door trims are leather. And the middle bits of the seat are Alcantara, so I find them very, very comfortable to sit in, and won't get too hot on a summer's day because of the Alcantara. So there's hot summer's days, we've got aircon, we've got electric windows, we've got a nice stereo, We've got fingertip controls here on the wheel. So there's actually plenty of, of things in this car that you can fiddle around with. The back seats do fit three people, and I first ran up for Lava that small. But when I got in, you haven't got a huge amount of leg room, but the seats again are very, very comfortable. So you could cope with a, you know, not a bad length of journey in there. The boot size, not too bad for a small car. Perfectly adequate actually. But as I said, the men found it quite difficult to adjust the seats of this car. They didn't feel it went low enough. They do have to open the door to actually fiddle with that dial to get the seats to go up and down. I don't think it's a huge hardship then. Now another time we've got to open the door is to release the button down here, which opens the boot. Which can get rather tedious at times when you've got bags of shopping or camera equipment or whatever to get in there. So look at the positives, we love the look, we love the interior, I like the, the driving position even though others don't. Another massive positive is the actual drive and the handling of this car and I have had some help to notice with that. It's great cornering, really good fun to drive, zooms around town, you think country roads, you think, you know, round the wheel, windy roads, great. But one of the negative aspects of the drive is it is quite raucous. Going on the motorway, it's quite noisy and it needs a sixth gear. You feel the revs are way up high and you just need it to go somewhere else. I also found that picking up speed on the motorway took a while longer than I wanted or needed. But I suppose once you get used to that, that's fine. And that's probably why they haven't added the sixth gear. Now, I love the look of the gear stick. It just looks I don't know, as if it should belong in Doctor Who's TARDIS somehow. But the actual shift is quite a struggle. It's very positive, you're definitely in gear and you know you're there. But it's actually quite hard work, especially going down the gears. Again, probably something you get used to. But should you have to get used to that? I'm not really sure. Now, would I buy this car? Now, I think I've, if I was many years younger, I certainly would consider it. It comes in at just under £11,000. 
even though you can get one of these, not the sport one, for just under £10,000. It has a three year warranty or 100,000 miles and comes with a three year free RAC cover. So that's actually all quite appealing, I think, for a younger person. Now we have had a few niggles, but it's great fun to drive, really good to look at. But I think if you're tall, say over six foot, I think you'd really struggle with this. So a lanky youth just wouldn't suit. But any other youth, definitely. And so my son cannot wait to experience. <laughs>